one of the next big steps of things I see people do that make mistakes building Splunk is that they have this as their landing page. You come into Splunk, you're on a search and reporting, and now the analyst is supposed to do something with this. How do we make the user experience a lot better? Well, one of the things that I recommend is doing a landing page. Uh, you can create it from scratch, you can do whatever you are, you can cheat and grab what Splunk has already built for you. I'm just gonna put this right out here. Welcome page creator app for Splunk. It's created by Splunk. Just go download it. It builds a whole bunch of pre-built panels that you can set up for your user and have them view a page really quick. Um, so let's, and it gives them the information they want to see right off the top. So let's go and grab a dashboard. I'll show that in practice. We're going to actually do this in lame edu. I'm going to go make me a dashboard. And I already have one here. I might need to blow the contents away from it. Uh, welcome to Splunk. We have some pages already on there. So let's just have a nice clean page. Delete. Delete, way too many stuff to delete. We are gonna go this route. Oh, now I got them all. Save. And we're gonna go, we're good. So now we've got we've got a nice little landing page. Problem is we need to put some stuff on there. So I told you to download that. Uh, welcome page creator, it's app 2991. If you've downloaded that, you can just go to apps grab the welcome page creator and it will have panel showcase. If you have user apps you want to show, if you want to have for users for data exploration, administration, let's go grab some uh, user empowerment panels. If we look at these, we can see some panels that they've already built. Five things you can do now as a Splunker and it pushes you to joining Splunk, Splunk uh, user groups where the quick reference guide is, education videos, learning Splunk. Each one of these is a pre-built panel. And if you have an internal community, like maybe you have a space where you email your Splunk admins for questions, you can use that to link them there. Answers, SplunkLive.conf. Uh, um, here, take you to start searching page, how to do development, most popular dashboards. I'm actually gonna do the most popular dashboards, it's one of my favorites. And the reason is, it's really nice to see what everyone else is doing. Call it the herd mentality, whatever you want. But I've found that if everybody's doing it, Maybe you should too. So it's nice to know what are what are the most commonly seen dashboards on on a particular app. So if you have a landing page, you can put that in there. So how do we do that? If we come into user interface on the app, where the uh, in the application you want to put it in, be in that application, go to pre-built panels, and this is assuming you've already put downloaded that app. We're going to go grab it. The welcome app. It's down here at the bottom. Welcome page creator. And I'm going to look at, we'll go grab the hosts available. I'm going to add that to the dashboard. I'm going to grab existing and I'm going to throw it on my welcome to Splunk. It's going to ask me if I want to view the dashboard. Don't view it yet. Let's put a few more on there. Popular views. Let's add that there. Add to dashboard. And welcome to Splunk. Hit save. Now we're going to hit the view dashboard and it will have added those pre-built panels right onto our page. So we can see what hosts are available. We can see most popular dashboards. I love how it's going to tell me that there's nothing and then back it comes. So it comes back and tells me the five most viewed dashboards on my site. Um, there's some really other, there's some really cool ones. I'm not going to walk you through them. Take the time to go through it yourself. Uh, panel showcase, data expiration panels. So you want to help the user know what data is available to them. Here they can get hosts and sources, what indexes you can search, um, give you an idea of some Splunk data. Anyway, indexes available, hosts available, sources available. Gives you really quickly pre-built stuff that you can just give to them on a landing page. So when they come to Splunk, it's not that just search and reporting box. All right, so how do we make that our landing page? So that always shows up. Well, the first thing we want to do, we're going to go to settings. We want to go to roles. I only have one role because it's a free version of Splunk. So I don't, I only have the admin role, but if I come in here, I'm going to grab the role. Maybe this is your system admins. Maybe this is your user, your power user, whatever the case may be. Come to resources and say, this pick, choose the default app. That means when they log in, they'll go to that app. By default, search and reporting is the default. Change it. 
there's nothing wrong with search and reporting being your, uh, uh, it's fine as your stuff, but put it somewhere else. Doesn't You don't need to use the default. Um, all right, so you've got that set. Now the next thing you wanna do, we're in here on Splunk, we're in that app. We wanna make sure we're in the app, so we go to Navi user interface. We've got the Splunk EDU showing up as my primary app. Now let's make under navigation menus, If we go find our lame training, that's the name that's usually default. And you can see the app lame training. So I'm going to grab that one. That's my navigation panel. And from there, I can actually see what is my default page. My default page is the search. If I change this, I can make it be something else. So we're going to go grab, we're going to put a welcome on there. We've got the welcome page. Maybe. All right, let's grab that welcome page. Lame EDU. Then grab the dashboard. We're going to put welcome in there. Grab the welcome. I need the URL for it. I'm just going to grab this last little piece here. Now I come over to here and I'm going to make it its own collection. Um, I should do a video on how to make these things, but we're just going to call it label equals welcome. And then end the collection. It's just simple XML. And, and then we're going to make a view. And that's where I paste that reference there that I took, just the last little characters there. And just make sure I finish with a uh, chicken beak. All right, if I hit save, and then I want to take this default off. I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to put it right there. And make sure it doesn't show up anywhere else. And we're going to take this welcome, welcome to Splunk, and we're going to put it up here. Search view. That would be fine. All right, so we hit save. If everything works out right, we can go reload this page. We should have a welcome over here, and we do. And the first page, if I come in here and I just grab Splunk Lame EDU, should be welcome to Splunk. Yep. So if you set the app to be the default, then you choose your in your navigation where is the main landing page. They will always be greeted with a welcome uh, page, so you can supply the content you want the analysts to get your new uh, Splunk users instead of having them have to figure it out on their own. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you be, move from being a lame analyst to a a Splunk ninja. And if you if this video was helpful at all, please give me a thumbs up in the bottom. Subscribe to the channel. I can't emphasize how important it is for this in order for this channel to grow that I get feedback. Uh, that's how YouTube will spread my uh, YouTube channels to other people. If you if this was useful to you, I'd really like it to be passed on to others. And the quickest way to do that is give a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and we'll make sure that that algorithm that Splunk that YouTube is using to distribute my channel it gets stronger. Anyway, thanks so much. Have a great day.